Cinco de Mayo is coming right up and that makes me think chips and salsa. Not that I need an excuse to eat chips and salsa, but it's always nice when a natural opportunity comes up to eat that. So today I'm going to show you how I make my black bean and mango salsa. And it's easy to put together. You can make it ahead of time. And before you know it, you'll be dipping your chips into a delicious, sweet, salty, tart and spicy salsa. So I'm going to start by just mixing a little bit of a vinaigrette type mixture in my bowl and I'm going to start by putting a couple tablespoons of honey into the bowl and that's going to give it the sweetness that will balance with a little bit of tart balsamic vinegar and then to help it just kind of coat all of the ingredients I'm adding a little bit of oil a couple of tablespoons of oil you can use olive oil and just mix that up a little bit and I've got one chubby clove of garlic that I've minced up I'll add that to the dressing and then I'm going to give a little squirt of some fresh lime juice I like to put in a couple of tablespoons but I usually only start with one and then afterwards I'll taste it if I need a little more lime juice I can always squirt it on the top of the salsa when I'm ready so there's all of the little dressing ingredients and then I'm going to start adding my veggies so I've chopped some red bell pepper and you can see that I've chopped my peppers and my red onion really fine because I want to be sure that it's easy to get all of the ingredients onto one chip when I start eating some red onions that are also chopped very fine and a little bit of minced jalapeno pepper and that you can do to taste it depends on how hot the pepper is and how much heat you like in your salsa and then one can of black beans that I've drained I'll add that and then of course I need the mango and then when you're ready to serve it you can add some avocado and the reason I'm not going to do this right now is because I'm not ready to eat it and if you add the avocado it starts to turn a little bit dark so you can either add avocado or another way I like to serve this is to spread a layer of guacamole on a platter and then put this on top of it and then have a big bowl of chips out so I'll add the avocado and a little bit of cilantro right at the end just a little bit of salt to season it and a little bit of pepper and stir it up that you're just gonna really enjoy this black bean and mango salsa for Cinco de Mayo. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.